Hey there, my friend. This is Philip Blackett here. Um, just wanted to do this video because I, I, first of all, I'm trying to battle this cold right now. So if, if I sound a little hoarse, um, that's part, probably why that's the case. Um, it's not like a full-fledged cold, but it's kind of one of those things where you feel something in the back of your throat and you notice like the first step before you get a cold. So now I'm like really getting all the orange juice and vitamins and uh, cold medicine, just trying to kind of tap taper it off or whatnot, at least just get it done with to get it taken care of in that sense but wanted to do this video primarily because um, I recently came back from a school event where I was helping out um, with some fellow alumni pack college care packages for the recent graduating class um, see right about now it's about November and if you're a college student out there you're more than likely getting ready for finals right is the one thing that's separating you from Spending time with your family and Christmas time in that sort of sense as well for the holidays and winter break and that's where you got to pass these final exams. So obviously I remember when I was in college back then it was a pretty high stress environment at that point because you wanted to do really well and also the sense that if you didn't do, do really well it you kind of had that fear within you that maybe your job prospects weren't going to be great or your life was going to be better <laughs> as a result so there's a lot of pressure dealing with finals in that sense and just wanted to do well and especially if you're a type a personality um you want to get the best grade possible so there's a lot on the line uh, when it comes to that for finals so what i appreciate you know about you know college care packages when i was on the other end this time as opposed to receiving it now i'm giving it is you kind of put yourself back in that standpoint that perspective of when you were in college and what would you have appreciated when you were in that midst of being in the library, you know, head down in your laptop or in your notebook or, you know, listening to past class recordings or that sort of thing. You know, just really just getting the gist of what your biology class was about or trying to figure out what this, you know, multivariable calculus was really going on or even just what jazz artist, you know, did his piece in the 1950s. Who, who knows what you may be, you know, studying at the time, but essentially how can you help somebody else and how can you help pay it forward to somebody else so they can have a better chance a better experience so to speak um studying for finals in that sense so anyways back into the school event so i was with a number of alumni we were working together on that uh, a lot of people brought different things you know some people brought you know lollipops some people brought school branded m m some people brought uh toys that were supposed to signify certain things like a a wheel like a toy wheel which was supposed to be um i forgot what she said but i took it in the sense of keep it moving right keep keep moving keep going forward in that sense as well they had like a the little bounce back paddle with the ball you just kind of bounce back and back and forth to yourself or whatever i thought about it as like bounce back if you didn't have a good exam you know bounce back and do better than the next one um just different things you know popcorn uh, just a number of different things in that sense. So, you know, I initially had signed up for getting gum or mints, right? You know, I, I signed up for doing something simple until I realized, you know, I had to come up with 71 pieces of gum or 71 packets of mints or whatnot because there were 71 students in that graduating class that we were preparing for. So I quickly realized, it's like, you know what? I could do that, but that's going to be a pretty penny to do that. And I'm not saying I did it just because of costs. I also looked at it in the sense of saying, look, I got in the sense of who already contributed items um, to put in these care packages. So I said to myself, I was like, you know, um, maybe there's another way of doing this. Maybe this is a more um, a better way, a more um, creative way to do this. And so I thought about, you know, what was I really appreciating being, you know, practically separated from family and close friends back at home. You know, at, at college, you know, I have my college friends as well, but they were studying too. They were they were under you know pressure in that sort of sense as well. What would I have appreciated? And um, I remember back in Carolina, I had this you know cork board, all these different photos I had from back home, especially family, uh, people that meant a lot to me. That was kind of like what motivated me. It was always next to my laptop. So if ever I needed something to kind of keep me inspired, keep me motivated to do. Um, my work or keep pushing forward or keep moving it forward in that sense keep progressing I would look back to the you know that cork board and there I would see photos of you know my grandmother my mom or who knows number of different things right like my dog in that sense as well um, certain things that just when I looked at it just made me feel better made me feel good inside made me feel like I could do it so I was like you know what's a way I can do that same thing for students as well and essentially what I did was, you know, I looked it up on the Internet 
And um, essentially what I did was I got a list of motivational or inspirational quotes um, that dealt with the whole sense of, you know, success, hard work, preparation, uh, testing, even failure, um, just a number of different things that were more appropriate to what these students were going through or likely to go through while they're studying for finals, but was more motivational in a sense, because of course you're going to have the candy, you're going to have the popcorn, you're going to have all that stuff, all to eat or whatnot. But as I was telling a alumni at the time, you look, you know, there's some quotes on here that still live to me to this day. You know, the thing about food is that you eat it, it tastes good and it passes through you and then you're on to the next thing, right? You know, popcorn's in <laughs> and out the next moment or whatnot and then you move on to something else. But there's a number of quotes on there, 22 of them, right? 22 of them that really spoke to the student, right? And really, I feel like, you know, out of 22 quotes, there had to be at least one quote that could be of significance to each one of these 71 students um, in that sense. And, you know, luckily we were putting them on the package along with the other stuff and sent them on the way. A lot of people thought it was a great idea about including the quotes and that sort. So I appreciate their feedback. But why am I telling you this? Right. Why am I telling you this in this video? Essentially this. Right. What I realized or was reminded of is that motivation is something that everybody needs. It's a question I always ask people whenever I'm going from different you know avenues or learn about people's jobs or careers and that sort of thing one of the questions that always comes up to my mind to ask it is what motivates you to do what you do every day what motivates you to come to your job every day you know what motivates you to take on that certain career path as opposed to everyone else or to take the path less travel when everyone else wants to do this right what 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 motivates you in that sense um and i realized motivation is one of those things that it's it's kind of it, it's a it's almost like a a word that you're gonna have fans and you're gonna have detractors. You're gonna have people that are for, you're gonna have people that are against it, think it's a bunch of fluff, fluff, woo woo, that sort of thing as well. Um, the bottom line is this, and this is what I believe. Um, every one of us is motivated for something when we get up in the morning to do what we do, whether we realize it or not. And I think at the same time, it empowers us or disempowers us to do what we do based on how we take upon it. So a lot of people, for example, you know, one of the primary reasons they go to work is to make money uh, make money not just to be rich but to make money just to survive just to make ends meet just to be able to provide food on the table for the kids um, be able to pay for your son's tuition and that sort of thing or, or pay for that car that needs to get fixed or whatnot or pay for something nice for your wife's uh, birthday coming up you know that weekend that sort of thing it's, it's, it's about that sort of thing sometimes people are motivated to make a difference in the community um, they will take lower salary because they're motivated by the prospect of helping make a difference in somebody else's life, you know, paying it forward in that sense as well. Uh, some people are motivated by achievement, right? You know, they really want to realize their full potential, be at the very best they can be. They, they see that executive C-suite job and they feel like they can rise upon that and get it in a number of years. And that's what motivates them. Essentially, in those three examples, real quick, I share with you different ways of, of how motivation can you know lead somebody to a certain action and it's something that i'm really interested in knowing because everybody is different everybody has their own sense of what motivates or drives them now after a while after you study a number of people you get to figure out you know a lot of people do have different motivations but a lot of times they can kind of get grouped up in different segments because after a while you start to you know see a pattern in that sense but what i want to share with you my friend on this one is just understand that you have motivation in yourself to do what you do. Um, something has to motivate you to persist, even though the road may get tough, even though there may be an obstacle at hand. Instead of you quitting, you still keep going. Why is that? Right. Um, when you wake up in the morning, it may be six o'clock, five o'clock, seven o'clock or whatnot. And you are not a morning person. But however, you still get up and you still get ready to go to work to do what you need to do. Why is that? Right. You know, it's, it, I just want to pose that question to you. I'm curious to know what your motivation is for what you do, for why you do what you do. Um, and if you want to, definitely share with me in your, in your comments below and that sort of sense. I'm just curious. Um, to me, um, my motivation, um, it comes from a number of different things, but a lot of it comes from nowadays um, just realizing my life purpose. Really, you know, I only have one life to live. And for me to empower millions of people, including you, uh, to realize your full potential, live more abundantly and pay it forward. That's what motivates me, whether it's, you know, 
uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock at night, or at now when I'm doing this video, it's 6.19 in the morning. I just happen to be up, and this happened to be on my heart to share with you. Um, or just in a sense of just saying, hey, you're just getting one step further to what I'm trying to do. Um, that's what, part of what motivates me. And, and just realizing the fact, here's, here's the bottom line. Everybody's motivated by something to do what you want to do, to do what you have to do in that sense as well. So essentially, I'm just asking you the question, what's your motivation? What motivates or drives you to do what you do? And a lot of times, once we understand that at the very least, um, that's a great way for us to figure out if what we're doing is really what we're trying to do, or, or is it just something that might have worked when we got to that point when we first started, but ultimately isn't the way to do it now or going forward. Uh, but in any case, um, just wanted to ask you that question. What motivates you to do what you do? What drives you to do what you do. Um, share your comments below if you want to share with me in that sense. Um, if this is a value or you feel like somebody ought to hear this, uh, feel free to like this video and share this video with somebody else in that sense as well. Um, this is Philip Black. I just wanted to ask you, what is your motivation? Um, so I hope that helps you. I hope this is a value to you. And uh, I'm going to try to get rid of this cold pretty soon before the next video. But until then, uh, I'll see you next time. Take care and uh, talk to you soon.